when the idea of the smart home first hit the market, we had smart lights, we had smart locks, we had smart switches, we had whole lighting systems like the Philips Hughes connected to our phone. We now have garage door openers connected to our smartphone. All sorts of stuff. We can control our TV with our Google Home. It's insane. Now, manufacturers, specific brands, such as the Nest, are trying to target the whole entire house. We've got a Nest lock, the Nest thermostat, the Nest home security system, everything. We've got cameras. It's just, it's not ending. That's why I picked this to do as a featured smart home item. This, what you're looking at right now, is the Nest X Yale Lock. I believe that's how it's pronounced. The connected lock for a more secure Nest home. That's what it's all about. It's bringing everything together in one mobile app. That's what we want. One app to rule them all. On the side of the box here, not really too much to see. A little bit of my personal information. But here we got an awesome picture of the lock. Take a look at this. Look at this. It, it, let's stop looking at the box and let's get to the inside. All right, let's get to the inside. All right. Doing something a little different today. If you haven't noticed, my table is up higher. I look a little lower. Camera's up, coming down on us. We're trying to get me and the goodies in the picture at the same time. In the description, let me know what you think. You know I'm always trying to improve for you. Get started. You know I love Let's Get Started guides. One, get the Nest app. Check. Two, add Nest Connect first. We recommend you plug in Nest Connect near your lock. That's going to be out in my little home office where there's the back door with the plug. Install the Nest X Yale lock and follow initial setup on the lock. It sounds easy, but how easy is it? That's always the question. All right, this looks like this is our Nest Connect, right? What I read, my internet investigation is that you need this Nest Connect thing in order to even enable your house to be a smart home via Nest. Yeah, here we go. Same instructions all over again except a little cuter, a little smaller. Good job, Nest. Holy smokes this is it it plugs in and this this must be like I don't know if you want to call it a router a hub they call it the connect look you plug it in and you hit the button how easy is that gonna be let's check this guy out So you know, I've installed three smart locks so far. This will be my third brand I've installed. I've installed two sledges and, well actually two quick sets and two sledges, so. I consider myself an expert. We're gonna see how easy this is to install on my door. That's what this is about. How easy is it gonna be? Programming instructions, installation kit, easy peasy. All right. This appears to be the actual lock mechanism itself. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to pack up the camera equipment go into the office and get set up so we can hang out in there. Be right back. 
great. Now we're at the final stretch. Took about 20 minutes to install overall, pretty easy. Next, we've got this little coat and we have the Nest app. What you do, you come up to your gears, your settings on your Nest app. You then go over here and you click on add product and it gives you a spot to scan the little coat. You scan the coat, boom, there you go. You hit next, where is it located? Office door, install your nest, lock, searching, searching, press and hold the button until the light pulses and the lock says it's ready. Says ready, wait for it to stay ready. Then you hit next. Now it's doing all its magic, it's connecting magic. It's going from the lock to the connect, to the Wi-Fi, to the account, to the phone. This is what we call the cloud. Now it's connecting. Let's see how long it takes to connect. Hopefully it's easy peasy. It says it's finishing up. That's a really good sign when it says finishing up. Did you hear that? It says we're good to go. I got the green checkbox. Do you see that? Do you guys see that? It's hard to see anything I know. We're going to hit next. All right. Boom. Set up your passcodes. This code will replace the one you chose during installation. Okay. All right. Now that we got away from the office, back into the studio with better sound, better lighting. Thank you for bearing with me. We just finished installing our Nest X Lock by Yale. Super easy to put in. I would definitely give it one thumbs up, not quite two thumbs up. And the reason for that is I was not able to easily see how I can connect this to any of my home controls. I have Google Home, I have Apple TV, I have all the systems that I need in place to make it work. It's not working. Even though I can sit there and tell my phone to change the temperature for my whole house and it does it with ease, it works in the same app but it hasn't quite updated yet to work with the lock. Keep your eye out if you go with this product for the update button. Grab the updates as they come out. A couple things you need to know about the install wrapping up. One, Phillips screwdriver a must. Two, pay attention to the size of your door. That will also determine the size, the length of the screws you're going to use. Three, make sure your phone is on the exact same Wi-Fi you are connecting your lock to. This lock connects via Wi-Fi, which means you can lock and unlock your doors when you're not even home. There's also a feature to set it up that when you go away and the temperature on your nest goes up to save on the power bill and preserve energy, it automatically will lock your locks as well. I haven't dug into that. I've just read about it. The other feature is a proximity sensor. When you get close to home, it also opens up and lets you walk into the house. Personally, that's not a feature I'm going to use. Stranger danger, I'm always worried about safety, always making sure that the house is secure. Don't know why that feature is even in there. I would suggest not using it because if you walk up to your house and you're trying to get in and there's someone also trying to get in at the same time, you're making it pretty easy. Great device, easy to install. I would recommend it. I think it was uh, about 300 bucks. I'm gonna go ahead and look up the uh, link for Amazon and for Best Buy so you have a couple options in the description. What I want from you is I want you to leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the lock. What is most important to you? Being able to lock and unlock from a distance or being able to remotely control the lock from inside your house through your voice, with your voice activation. What's more important, locking it from home or locking it when you're away? That's what I wanna know. Thanks for checking out the channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do so now. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you dislike the video, hit the thumbs up button. Namaste.